I'm Josh with Nelson Irrigation, and today we're going to discuss how to upgrade a large body pressure control pilot. And in 2014, there were new internal parts that were introduced into production, but anything that is 2013 and older uh, will need to be upgraded. And if it's not been upgraded, you will not be able to service that pilot. And a good way to know how old your pilot is is by looking at the serial number which is located right here on the flat part of the spool housing. The first three characters are the model number followed by the month, day, and year of manufacture. Older pilots um, had three options of sensitivity bushings that were based on your preference of accuracy or responsiveness and these pilots were all colored at the hex. And so if you happen to notice that your hex has a black, blue, or red color on it, then very likely you will need to upgrade your, your pilot, and that is an old sensitivity bushing in there. The new upgraded bushing is uh, going to be the best of both worlds, being more uh, sensitive, more accurate and responsive um, than the other previous three options. We're going to go ahead and upgrade this. The items that you're going to need to upgrade this pilot our, our upgrade kit, which is Nelson part number 12230-001. And whenever you purchase this kit, it is going to come with a new sensitivity bushing, a diaphragm spool assembly, and also the spool uh, housing O-ring, along with some instructions that are easy to follow along with. And the items that you're going to need for this upgrade are a three quarters inch wrench and a five sixteenths socket wrench. So the first thing that we're gonna do here with this pilot is loose, loosen this lock nut here on the spring screw, spring adjustment screw. Once that is loosened up here, we're gonna go ahead and back this spring adjustment screw out. And we can back this screw up until we see the top of the adjustment uh, label here or sticker. Once that is backed out, we're going to take our 5 16 socket screw, socket uh, wrench. We're going to loosen these nuts. So those are loose here. We're going to pull this spool housing off. We're going to set this part aside here. We're going to flip it over. We're going to lose some of these screws here. Make sure you can catch those. Then we can pinch this diaphragm here and pull this spool assembly right out. So just like this. This would be a good time to go ahead and clean this up in here if there's any extra dirt. Our grime. I'm going to flip it over here. We are going to loosen our sensitivity bushing. And go ahead and unscrew that. So once you've pulled your diaphragm out um, and your spool assembly. There is an O-ring in here that may need to be replaced, and a good way to check to see if this O-ring needs to be replaced is by taking your sensitivity bushing and pressing it in here. If it is a tight fit, then likely that O-ring is in good shape, but if it is not a tight fit, then it will need to be replaced, and the kit does come with a new O-ring. If you do need to replace the O-ring, you can use a pick-like instrument or tool and pry the o-ring out of the groove. So we'll take our new o-ring, pinch it like an oval, and we'll press it right into the groove of the housing. Okay. 
once you get it inside slightly, you can take a blunt object that's a similar diameter and press the O-ring so that it seats inside the groove. It's also important to inspect the spring housing. If the grease doesn't look good, is missing, or there is corrosion, we recommend replacing the spring and filling the housing with new grease. So we're going to go ahead and reassemble with our new um, internal parts. We're going to start off with the sensitivity bushing, and that goes in right here at the top. Okay. Thread that. Once that is in, we can go ahead and put our diaphragm spool assembly in. It's going to be a little bit of a tight push here, but it should just feed right in there. You want to line these holes up with the screws. When that is in, we will connect both of the housings again. And you want to go ahead and line up this middle fitting with the Nelson label on the spring assembly, or the spring housing. When those are lined up, Go ahead and put our screws back in. And we want to tighten these screws up by going across and so that it's so that the housings tighten together evenly. There you have it, and that is how you upgrade a large body pressure control pilot. So if you have a smaller pilot, the procedure is very similar. The only difference being that the cap is just screwed directly on to the spring assembly or the spring housing here, rather than using screws. And this large, this large body pressure control pilot is for valves that are four, six, and eight inch and the small body pressure control pilot is for two and three inch valves.